my brother called this morning and said, you want to go catfishing? And I said, why? And he said, because I want to go catfishing. And I said, no, why nine o'clock? If we're going to go catfishing, why didn't you call me at seven o'clock? We're usually coming home by nine o'clock. Anyway, we're on our way to go catfishing. Come along with us. The lake still has a 12 foot rise on it. And as you can see, we don't have a boat landing, but that doesn't bother us. We don't know what to expect today because this is our first time to go catfishing this year. We're going to have to try to find the fish because we don't have a clue where they might be with a 12 foot rise on the lake. After doing quite a bit of searching with our locator, we noticed that most of the catfish were about 20 foot deep in 30 foot of water. So we're going to set one set of jugs that way. We're also going to find some 20 foot water and set them 15 foot deep. Then we'll put the third set of jugs in less than 20 foot of water. Uh, yeah, and that wind's coming up pretty good too and it's going to go pretty fast. 15 foot deep. Yeah. We used a chopped up quillback sucker and some chopped up raw meat for bait because we didn't have any idea where we could catch perch or shad with the lake up as high as it is. Where's that bait at? I'll cut bait in back here. You get I did, up there? I did put I did put my number, didn't I? Yeah. I thought I did. I would say as long as we're uh, not getting in there too deep, we ought to just keep going out. Let me pull it over to the left a little. I'm having a hard time getting a straight line. Count those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one will be ten. Do we want to just keep going out? Well, we're still not very far out. If you look at the point down there where we set them a lot of times, you want to put, let's just set one more roll right, right on out here, green ones. Well, what if what if you think if you think I've got it too big, just cut it in half. I just I was cleaning them and I just sliced it while I was cleaning them. We finally got all of our jugs set and it's almost 11 o'clock. That one's got one on it. I knew it did. 
we need to move all of our jugs slow down Where's your pad? That's a good eater, ain't it? Yes, it is. Okay, we're going to move all of them jugs if they don't have none on them. We're going to come right back up and do this with all of them. Dwayne, I think this bait's fine. It's on there. I'm just going to set it here for now. Right, right behind us. I'm not sure which one of those is one that had the fish on it. We've got one out there with fish. Well, we've got fish on everywhere now. There's one out there, but I don't know if it was it or this one here. Oh, I think don't think we're going to have any trouble getting them if this is any indication. <laughs> that one right there's got one on it coming toward us. Hand me that jug. Open that. All right, it's okay. There's a yellow one going into the bank. Yeah, there is. I see one turned and one into the bank. Probably ought to get the one into the bank first. There's a pink one taken out across the country. Fish on that one out there. The green one's right just terribly. Need to go get, but didn't go get it. You gotta go down and find it. Yeah. We got some going out in the open water out there. It's gonna. You're going a little too fast for me. We've got one that's about 200 or 300 yards out there. It's ran off.
it. Should be. That's unusual to catch a runner that's worthwhile, isn't it? Just throw them jugs in here, Dennis. Give them a toss. There we go. Well, we've got one, two, three, got the yellow ones. We got one green one and one pink one gone here. Dennis bought a new boat and while he and Tina were out trying to break it in, he swung by to see us and we sent him out looking for some of the jugs that we were behind on. Dennis, if you want to, you can take a swing up through there and see if that pink one and green one's up there. When Dennis came by, his wife Tina took some pictures and Dennis sent me some of them and I thought, I'll just put them in the video. the bait uh, up what we ought to do is just reset if we need to reset mine up through there or reset or set yours up through there we, got set some, got, we need more than that well let's just set yours right up through there where we set those and leave mine here till we try to find that other deal uh, yeah that's all ready to go if they got bait on them i think you don't think we need to put any more And I could gun up there. I could get out here in 20 foot of water and start throwing them in. We need to get them in the water as quick as we can. Right now we're in 12 foot of water. I think we set them in 20 and set them 10 foot deep. You got those green ones all ready to go? Yeah. I'll start putting them in. Soon. But I'm not going to do it until I get out in 20 foot of water. The reason we're setting these jugs in, in 20 foot of water is because the wind is blowing toward the bank and the fish apparently are biting between 10 and 15 foot deep. So on the way to the bank, they should go through that depth. What's causing us to lose our jugs is that the waves are very high, the sky is very overcast, and you can't see a jug more than 50 or 60 feet. So we're losing jugs that should be well within our sight on a normal day. Dennis found one of the two jugs that we lost and it had fish on it. We could go ahead and set mine, or we can just say that's good enough for a while. How are you on it? If they buy it, this is good enough. If they don't buy it, it'll make no difference. Well, it's been quite a chore, but we finally got all of our jugs reset, and now we just play our waiting game. You son of a gun. That feels pretty good, Dwayne. I 
seeing an orange one on its end. Yeah, I do too. I'll keep going. He was really standing up. Yeah, he was really right on his end. Let's try not to lose this one. We've lost two. We make no difference. <laughs> Keep your eye on which one it is. That might be a pretty good catfish, you know what? There's another one. Another one right there. When they get in about 12 feet, that's when they... I like those that just take off. He's still standing up pretty good. Yeah. Which of those ones over here? I don't know. I don't know which one it was. I don't think he's on. That's a good fish there. He's almost all the way under. He's holding it down, Dwayne. You know what? Now he's going to decide he's going to run into something else. Going to tangle up a couple of them for us. Hey, we got another one on. Did you see that one right behind him, Bobble? One, one of those others tipped up. As soon as they get in this 12 foot mark, that's when they hit them. I've seen uh, three of them come up like that, but I've only seen one running off. I just saw that one while I go up, but the rest of them I'll just see hit, hit a wave. your net. Yeah, we're getting slimy all over your new jugs, Dwayne. I hate that. Just lift him in. If we lose him, we lose him. I jerked you in the water, wasn't it? Back in? Huh? Go back in? Uh, no, I wouldn't here. Because they're about into the bank. Dandy there, isn't it? again one slipped away from us it is so difficult to keep track of these jugs with this overcast sky and the waves and the reflections they'll go right by the boat and you won't see them we don't know how this guy slipped away on us
pretty good wave though, ain't it? Yeah. So dandy there. That was a big fish, wasn't it? Well, that gum, that's another little dink. Come on, get off of He wouldn't get off. He about five than others. Well, finally got a brown fish. Don't think so. Yeah, there's one on it. Don't think it's very big. <laughs> oh boy. No matter how you fish, you're gonna catch a drum, you know what? Yeah. Just got him by the whiskers. <laughs> Nice fish, brother. There's a whopper, Dwayne. Look at that. Yeah. Brown catfish. Well, I'm sure glad my brother gave me that phone call because this was a real neat trip. I'm surprised that we caught as many fish as we did because we had no idea where to start. But our plan to start with three different depths and find the depth that they were biting and moving the jugs to that depth really worked out. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us and if you did click that notification bell and we'll let you know when we're going out again.